Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And in today's video, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. So as you can see here, T-Mobile to begin lighting up AWS 3 Spectrum with the launch of the LG V20. So the LG V20 launches in about a week or so. And supposedly T-Mobile is going to light up Band 66 with the launch of LG V20. Now, with that said, I can't confirm if it's every market that they have the spectrum in or if it's just certain markets that, you know, that already has the setup as far as the antennas and all that good stuff. I'm, I've been emailing and, and texting a few people, you know, looking at different tech blogs. I can't confirm anything. There's not a list of what markets it's going to be launched in. So I don't have any of that information, but as soon as I do, I will let you guys know. So definitely like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned. Also in the comment section down below, let me know what you guys think. Is this more of a way of kind of like not, not forcing people to buy the V20, but it's making the V20 kind of like an exclusive device to a certain part of the network technology. Now I know... 256 qualms and the 4x4 MIMO are launching also but the additional bandwidth can help out a lot and not only in cities as far as adding additional capacity but some of the band 66 will be used to fill in coverage gaps as well so this might be an important device to have and I know probably in the future there's going to be more devices that are that will launch with band 66 so definitely stay tuned for that I got I'm gonna try I hope I get a response from the from the two emails that I sent if I do I will drop another video tonight you know I just want to make sure that I give all my subscribers the latest info you know interact keep you guys up to date so I'm gonna be working on that I'm gonna also make some phone calls since we're about a week out somebody has to know something i mean i've seen some of the aws three panels or antennas i should say added onto some towers but those were in markets where they don't have the have the spectrum so also with that said at&t was the big winner of that spectrum auction so t-mobile didn't get as much band 66 as they probably would have liked but they're probably more focused on the 600 megahertz auction anyway. So this is just helping a couple of other... I'm sure they purchased it in, in markets where they needed it the most. So that'll definitely give you, know, you guys a boost that have the spectrum in your market. So with that said, you know, leave any comments in the comment section down below. If you know something that I don't, you know, let me know. I do appreciate the feedback also, you know, shout out to my new subscribers. So, you know, I hit 100 subscribers. I appreciate you guys. I got something special coming for you guys very soon. So stay tuned. And, you know, that's it for today's video. You know, this is this was a very brief press release. T-Mobile didn't really go into uh, any detail, really. I'm still trying to figure out what which markets it's going to launch with. You know what markets are even ready to uh, broadcast this I think there's still some uh, in the uplink I think it still has to be cleared so they might just use it for a supplement to help the download boost up some download speeds so stay tuned I'm, I'm gonna do a lot of research later on tonight I'm gonna be all over the place so look forward to a video if you don't get a video then I will probably have one tomorrow with an update. Once again, this is Tyrone with Tech Life. I appreciate you all. See y'all in the next video. Peace.